Today, a Zimbabwean hunter said that he expects to be cleared of charges that he helped an American illegally kill a beloved lion named Cecil. The American, Walter Palmer, does not face charges. Deborah Pata was there as the hunter came into the crosshairs of the court. Hiding behind dark glasses and a cap, hunting guide Theo Bronkhurst sat in his car anxiously waiting for court to start. He insisted he had done nothing wrong. He claims he had a legal permit. Well, I guess I shot a famous lion. Cecil was a major attraction at the Huangi National Park. The government says Broncos lured Cecil off protected parkland to a nearby farm where he was shot with a crossbow. Absolute nonsense. I mean, we got there, the, the animal was already on an elephant carcass. It's, 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 it's a load of nonsense. We didn't even have to lure him. He was there. Broncos says he's been made a scapegoat. Most of the $55,000 Palmer paid for his hunting license goes to Bronkhurst after a small cut to the farmer on whose land Cecil was killed. But those days could be over. Well, it's destroyed us, eh? It's uh, destroyed the family, my business. It's been tough. You know, we, we employ a lot of people and they all on half time now. I guess each family is supporting six, six or more dependents. Illegal hunting is rarely prosecuted in Zimbabwe, but researcher Brent Staplecamp, who'd been studying Cecil, was convinced that because of the international outrage, this time would be different. He believes the American dentist should have been charged. But really thought that this was going to be an example um, to other people that have done this before or who would do it in the future. Um, so very disappointed that we're not going to see justice. Broncos told us that if the American dentist isn't facing charges, then he shouldn't either. But his lawyers did not get a chance to argue the case in court today, Scott, as the trial was postponed until next week. Deborah Patter reporting. Deborah, thank you.